Hi guys, welcome to another video in Heart America's TV. Today, we will cover a very simple but important topic when analyzing our production results. Fresh way versus dry way. When evaluating crop performance and yield, we usually look to evaluate quality of our yield, taking a look to traits such like size, shape, bricks levels, leaf area, irritable acids, flavor, texture, fresh weight, dry weight, and even more. But for now, let's focus on two important measure variables when evaluating crop performance, fresh weight and dry weight. Fresh weight is defined as the weight recording immediately when our product is harvested. Fresh weight includes water content present on the product. This measurement can be useful when evaluating yield results before selling a product. We usually get paid for the quantity of weight of our fresh product, right? So we most of the time work with fresh weight. However, as I mentioned, fresh weight includes water content in the product at the harvest time. The negative part of this is that water content after harvest can change with time due to environmental conditions or different conditions at the harvest time. This is why when evaluating harvests using fresh weight, we need to take the measurement as soon as the product is harvested. By other hand, we also have dry weight. Dry weight is defined as the weight recorded after drying plant tissue at temperatures higher than ambient temperature. This drying process will eliminate water from the plant and is very useful when we are looking to evaluate crop performance, especially after applying treatments to improve yield or quality. Dry weight will provide a precise measurement of biomass eliminating fluctuation caused by water content. And plant total biomass can be directly related to the plant performance as a response to the photosynthetic capacity, nutrition, or different environmental conditions that we can have inside of the system. This will be the best tool to record weight when evaluating treatments or special management to improve yield and quality. We can measure dry weight from the harvested final product or also the whole plant or even a specific tissue in order to evaluate our crop. In summary, dry weight refers to all the constituents of the plant except of water and is a more reliable option to analyze weight. Fresh weight includes water, is less reliable when trying to judge how plant management or system management is impacting plant performance, but can be useful when measuring yield. But how can we measure dry weight? We first need to remove the tissue of the interest from the plant. If measuring the whole plant, be sure to clean roots and also remove any substrate present. You also need to be sure to remove any water present over the surface of the plant tissue. Now, set an oven with low heat and place the plant tissue or plant inside. This can be a long process. Usually, we do this overnight. Once plants cool down and the tissue is completely dry, then we can weight the final tissue. To measure fresh weight, we need first to harvest the plant organ or tissue of interest. It can also be the whole plant. Be sure to remove any excess of water present on the surface and wait immediately. This process must be done quickly or plant tissue can start to lose water. Additional recommendation to measure dry and fresh weight will be to look for the correct equipment to get the most precise data. Analytical balance, for example, is usually used to get precise data, data for an object weighing less than approximately 100 grams. This equipment can easily lose calibration, so be sure to calibrate any kind of balance that you are using before weighting your probe. 
especially when measuring dry weight, analytical balance are very useful. This is very simple information, but when data is not collected or analyzed correctly, we can base conclusions in inconsistent information. Remember, the more you measure, the more you can manage your crop, and you then will have better results. Hope you find this information useful. Remember, my name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's Technical Service. You can also find me in Instagram as Professor Grow. See you on the next video.